Hey, hamster. So I'm gonna start by doing uh, the final bottle by getting the letter to Madame Aroma myself. Hi, West. So, um, even though I'm getting the bottle from Madame Aroma this cycle, I should be able to deal with the old lady so that I can get the old night all I'm, uh, bleh, the all night mask. Since I don't need Kaffee to see Seikon and go to the Ukana, I just need him to uh, give me the. Oh wait a minute! I can't because he does need to leave because I get the letter from. Fuck. Oh man, this is gonna take a few cycles. Okay, well I'm gonna start by getting the Madame Aroma bottle in this cycle. And then the next cycle I'll have to get the all night mask. What could I do in the meantime? You know what? I'm gonna try again at the uh, treasure chest minigame to get that piece of heart. Oof, that pop in. I wish there was a code to increase that. Yeah, all you're missing is side quests in that anyways, West. Um, it's not like you're missing anything that has to be done in any specific order, like the dungeon. See if I can get it this time. <gasps> I got it. Get the chest. Okay. Ah, uh, that's the postman's hat. Again, I got the only useful thing from this. I can't believe I got that first try. You know what else I can do this cycle? Let's try again to get this. And then I can get the one in the swamp as well. <laughs> I did already get the big quiver here, but there's also a piece of heart if I get this perfect score. Oh shit. Well, I didn't get it this time. They don't give you enough time for that one. Who's that? Hit 31, 41. 
At least I made money off of it. <laughs> the fucking noises the characters make in these games. This one's really unfair, though. Come on! <laughs> Gyro aim would be great. That's one of the biggest things the 3DS version has over the N64. Motion controlled aim. And not just overly sensitive. I, I, I can't control it, it's too fast. Okay, this is looking like a bust. I mean, it is a bust already, because I hit some bad ones and missed. That last one does not give you enough time for the amount of pink you have to hit. Got another record, anyways. I'm not gonna get that one. Fuck it. This lady to the journal. I'll pass. This is one of the people I'm missing from the notebook. In fact, I think I have all of them down now. Yeah, no more blanks. Okay, so I need to do Anju's grandmother. Madame Aroma, which is the bottle. Curiosity Shop Dude, which is, uh, All Night Mask. And that's it. So I just have these three people. And I know exactly what to do. Around four, that Goron will show up, and I'll get the cutscene to see what happens when he gets the room. Since Hugo wanted me to do that. I think it's five, four, three, one, two. God damn it. Now let me get the notebook up again. Five, four, two, and Oh, hey, winning that che uh, treasure chest shop minigame got me an extra heart. I didn't know that was that close. Now we're at 12.
within the next hour, the uh, Goron should show up. The max hearts you can get is 20 in this one. Oh, there he is. He does come from in there. So busy, it's hard to find one's way, Goro. All right, I've never seen this uh, dialogue exchange before, but Hugo said it's good, I guess. At least worth seeing. I'm terribly sorry. There are no vacancies today. We're booked solid with reservations. I should have a reservation, Goro. The name is Link. Don't you have it, Goro? Ah, oh, Mr. Link, I do have your reservation. Your room is the knife changer in the second floor. This is your room key. Okay. Not really worth all the hassle I went through to get to that, <laughs> but interesting. I prefer the ending where you get his room and he ends up sleeping outside. <laughs> Should have the letter by now. So. Yeah, 11:30. The annoying thing about the cafe quest is it splits. There's two different endings you can get. Well, there's two different reward paths you can take. So there's parts of this quest you have to do twice. Just up to the part where I get the letter. Wait until midnight. with this sword? Does it only work with the Kokiri? There it is, there it is, I see it now, it's working this time. Infinite sword glitch. This is an old one. There's actually a lot of other glitches you can do further with this one. Um, like bomb shoe hovering is done by using the infinite sword glitch, because the thing with the infinite sword glitch when Link is swinging his sword, you can't, like, fall off a ledge while swinging a sword. Link will stay on the platform that he's on when swinging a sword. So, Infinite Sword Glitch, what it does is it makes it so you can't drop off of ledges. And there's a glitch you can do called Bomb Shoe Hovering, where you, like, backflip and drop a bomb at the same time, and it'll make you stand in the air. And you can use it to, like, fly up to places you can't normally reach. I've never been good at it. should hurry up and get to the balcony before 8.30 so I can get back in easily. I haven't used the stupid flower. Everyone having a good sleep tonight in there? For some reason, the pound doesn't have the same effect. I like how Anju says she wants me to meet her at 11.30, but she'll kick you out if you stay inside past closing, and you can't get in without breaking in through the balcony. 
And then she just walks right by me. Like, I'm not supposed to be inside here right now. I'm not a very good innkeeper. Now, the hand ghost comes out at midnight, right? What if it's like 11.59, you're in the middle of squeezing out the biggest shit of your life, and suddenly a hand just goes right up your ass? Oh! Paper, please! It's something to think about. Oh, so. Whatever's cooking sure smells delicious. Oh, please tell me I can get up there. I want to put bugs in the food. You know what? Maybe they'll crawl up there if I dump them. Okay. Slide. Just go ahead and slide. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Climb up. Climb up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our head cannon is that a bunch of spiders and centipedes flooded the soup, and Grandma's gonna eat it. Okay, another minute, and then we should be ready for suckle. Hurry up, you're late. Okay, just go through the, car the, 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 the counter. That's fine. We'll talk in the kitchen. We're in the kitchen. I have to wait for her to stop. I'm sorry to trouble you. Blah, blah, blah. We did this dialogue already. Yes. Flashes her tits. Oh, thank you. Here's your reward. <laughs> Link, gets, Link gets Ara Ara in the kitchen. Do that. You're supposed to talk to the mailbox. Okay, something I'm going to do to make this a little bit more productive. I'm gonna go to a cannon now. I'm gonna get the miserable tower climb out of the way. I should probably slow time down for this. If this goes how I think it will, with time slowed down, it'll be about 2 p.m. by the time I get back, or at least close enough. Then I can go eat coffee, get the pendant, give it to Anju, and then on the final day, coffee will be gone. And that's when I go inside and talk to the curiosity shop owner, get the letter, 
bring it to Madame Aroma myself instead of giving it to the postman to bring to her. And I'll get a bottle. And then that will be the end of the Madame Aroma part of the notebook. I don't know why it's like this. I, I don't know why. I wish you could talk to her after giving it to the postman. And get the resolve that way, but... For whatever reason, they decided you have to do this part of the side quest twice. This is another one of the few terrible parts of the game right here, is climbing the tower. Once you get to it though, at the top, that is one of the best dungeons in the entire series. Up there. Amazing dungeon. Okay, I can't do that one yet. Of course, it's gonna be a cutscene every time you get on or off a switch. Shit, I don't have any bombs. There we go, Jesus. I kept like hit, hitting like the wrong... I kept like miss hitting. This is the problem with using a stick instead of C buttons. I kind of wish I did have that N64 USB controller right now, but... I'm probably going to be getting one sometime this week. But by the time I get it in the mail, uh, this game will be finished, so... It'll have to be for future N64 game streams. Oh, 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 I need to be a different character. Get ready to hear this song a lot, because I get to play it like 30 times to get to the top. <laughs> There's a couple places you have to play it in the dungeon, too, but only a couple. That's like the one negative thing I could say about that dungeon. But yeah, these statues hold the buttons down for me. The annoying thing is it matters what order you hit them into because uh, they'll block each other if you don't do it in the right order and they won't be able to get to where they need to be. Also if you fall, which you better not. You have to start the whole thing over again because you void out and end at the end up at the bottom where you entered. Oh, that's to go back. This isn't important. Yes, yes, I know. I don't need a cutscene every single time I press it. The 
this one. You can only have one of each statue at a time. So what'll happen here is the statue will move and the ones down below will get reset. So I gotta sit through that cutscene. Actually getting close to the top now. This isn't a super long climb. It's still annoying though. for that one yet. I need the bottom switch. Wait, which statue did I place? Shit. You know what? I think I played the... I think I just fucked up and... I did. Hopefully... That doesn't affect anything too much. Okay, good. Yeah. No, 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 not that. Please no falls, please no falls. <sighs> if I fucking fall and I have to start over, that's it, stream over. We're not gonna be finishing Majora's Mask. We're at the top now. This went a lot faster than I remember it going. I remember it being a very long climb. Yup, we're at the top. Activate the warp. That was my goal here. To get the warp so that when I go for the dungeon I can just warp to it. When I'm ready for that. Uh, I don't really need the fairy since I'm going to do these anyways. Okay, so we're done here for now. Uh, I'll be coming back here at a later time. All of the warps are open now.
cafe might be ready now. I'm not sure. I think it's about 2 p.m. when that opens up, but... I guess I didn't need to slow down time. Oh, whoops. This should be fine anyways, actually. I'll skip forward, meet Kathy, get what I need, bring it to Anju, then skip to the final day. Oh, whoops. Get time back to normal flow. last night. Just give me the pendant. Shut up and show me your tits. of show to meet like it's all with me all right skip forward to the final day PM, I will be able to go inside of Kathy's place. In the meantime, I'm gonna do some bank stuff. Actually, hmm, I could do the mini boss gauntlet. Fuck it. I'm gonna deposit my money first. The new set of comms only Ikuji or ponies allowed. You can commission whatever you want. It doesn't even. It, it could be Danny Phantom for all I care. Commission whatever you want. That's what the whole. Oh, hey, it's heart. Isn't it? Oh no, never mind. It's five thousand rupees. But, uh, yeah, the, um, that's what the whole thing is with the whole shaded characters. Uh, MLP style, that's considered flat color. Whereas shaded characters would be like anime style or Danny Phantom style. Again, you can commission whatever you want. Thank you. 
doesn't matter what franchise or what. Shine beneath the water, behind the waterfall. Now awaiting the challenges of the bold visitors, sure uh, of their might. <laughs> As the ground trembles and Link is doing. Oh, I can't do this yet because I need the light arrows. Yeah, there's no light in here to shine with my shield. You have to hit that with a light arrow to get in. Fuck. There is the Poe mini game I could do. I have to warp back up to the top though. <laughs> um, each dungeon gives you an arrow type. The forest temple gives you the regular bow. Ice dungeon gives you fire arrows. Water dungeon gives you ice arrows. And then this temple gives light arrows. Yeah, the arrows in this game are the dungeon items. Whereas everything else you get in the overworld, like the hookshot. And uh, the arrows serve as a sort of like a checkpoint in the dungeons as well. I need rupees. Shit. It costs like 10 or 20 to get in there. Oh, I know where I can get some money. Some quick money. Let's make this a little faster. I'll just kill the re-deads in the entrance with my mirror shield and... Oh, but the light won't be in the entrance because I... ...already. This is a new cycle, so... I might have to go to the side room and go for that. Oh, but that's not gonna be open either. Fuck. Th these guys should give money anyways. Trying to dance, I'm being a dick. I could show off what this does too while I'm here. Fuck it. So when walking around, Tattle might exclaim, I can't see it, but I sense there's a thirst for blood looming around us. Don't you have a mask that can summon the unseen? Master, you called! What are you? That's a Garo. Regrettable. Although my rival, you were spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. That, that which was acquired in Akana Castle shall open the way to Stone Tower. That is all I know. Believe or disbelief rests with you. To die without leaving a corpse, that is the way of us Garo. But 
Yeah, there's places all over Arcana where you can summon them with that mask. Not anything particularly useful. They just kind of give hints that you should already know. Just off of common sense. Like, oh, this dungeon gives you a thing you need. above it. Spirit House, yeah, this is it. <laughs> the Kana Kingdom was founded this land, on this land, stained with a history of darkness, drenched in blood. Even now it is a place where troubled, regretful spirits gather. If you are seeking one who is stronger than you are, you may find strength here. Uh, from a group of spirits plagued by lingering regrets. If you have faith in your skills and might, then try saving these wandering spirits. <laughs> the earthly price you must pay is 30 rupees. You're a boy of much vigor. Defeat the ladies within the time limit and, the re uh, and rest their souls in peace. But if your life energy drops below three, qu uh, three hearts, I will stop the match. Mercy is the least I can offer. Shit, I don't have Deku Nuts. Deconites would make this faster. One more. I got this. It's just like our grand time. The hard part though is the camera angle isn't as friendly. the earthly possession which the ladies kept. Take it, Link. This is your name, correct? I can read people's hearts. I knew you'd be coming here. Now my home soul has been healed too. With that, <laughs> Oh yeah, and he just kind of fades away. if I can warp from in here, so I'll just leave just in case. Okay. That killed a lot of time. Yeah, I can't get into Caffey's until 1, so... Okay. Thought I'd do something to kill that time. At the end of his round. An hour is like somewhere like something somewhat shorter than in uh, a real life minute, I think. When time isn't slowed, yeah. 
think it's something around like 45 seconds or so. Now let's count it. One. Okay, that's the halfway point, and I got about 23, so I'm probably not super accurate, but I'd say that's... It's, a, it's about 40 seconds or so. It's long enough to make this game a drag when you have nothing else to do when you're side questing. Yeah, the 3DS remake, the Song of Double Time actually lets you skip to a specific hour and not just to the night or day. Okay, got the letter. I think I can give it to her at the mayor's office, can't I? I wish Hugo was here to answer these questions. Yeah, that's a fairy shard. That was the one I used to get the great fairy in uh, Clock Town that let me get the bubble. And she gave me the fairy mask when I did it again as uh, human link. Or Hylian link, I should say. She's not even here. Kathy's diary. The wedding ceremony is soon. It might be early, but I finished my wedding mask. I wonder if Angie has made hers. She tends to do things at the last minute, so probably not. There's a gathering of fellows at the milk bar tonight. I plan to show off my wedding mask and talk about my sweetheart as best I can. Last thing he wrote before disappearing, because his mask was stolen. I'm guessing it's there because a new cycle. Yeah, it's because it's a new cycle. Yeah, the fairies all reset when you reset time. Okay, so I need it to be nighttime now. I've got the letter. I think on the final day they just let you in, right? Yeah. And there she is. Okay, I should be able to finish this quest now. Um, lady? Okay. I gotta talk to her ass. Oh dear! Are you alright with not fleeing? It looks like this is it for this town, you know. You saw the moon, didn't you? It's gotten so huge! You don't want to talk about huge lady. <laughs> All the town's folk have fled. You should flee too, far away. But I have the letter. Why won't... Letter? Do I really have to wait until... Let me give you the thing, bitch! I have the letter for you! I want to give it to you! I, ha I probably have to wait until 10. Give it to her when the bar is open. Oh boy. I wish you goes here to answer these questions. <laughs> Seems to know the schedules a little better than I do. At 10 p.m. I should be able to do this. 
This will be my last bottle. Where is it? This. I'll need this in order to get in. When it's time. Oh! I know what I could do, actually. Wrong mask. Try again at this cheap-ass trivia bullshit. Trunks does Tingle the Mac Maker wear? Easy. He doesn't wear any trunks. Does that, what time does Romani, the girl at the ranch, go to bed? Oh, what kind of fucking question is that? Eight. Oh. How many balloons does Romani, the girl at the ranch, use during practice? One. Wait, what? You have to answer more than three? Completed. How tall is the festival tower? Three. Wait, what? But it's it's three things tall. <laughs> Fuck you. Your fucking questions are cancer, dude. Clearly three. One, two, three. On day one, it's one block. Day two, it adds the second. And then day three, it adds the third. <sighs> I'm getting that fucking heart piece. I will not be bested by a fucking fox. I have to give the letter to the postman for him giving. No, that's that's if you get the hat. That's if you want to get the hat. I'm not trying to get the postman's hat. I already have that. Um, if you give it to your aroma yourself, she gives you a bottle. Shit, shit! I didn't have the mask on. Please tell me this will work. God damn it! Maybe I can reset it. I might have already fucked it up. Yep, I fucked it up. Oh, okay. Are you kidding me? Really? He disappeared because I took the mask off. He appeared at like the last second. What the fuck? I hope that didn't fuck it over. That ruined it. Oh, okay. I was about to take the mask off again. 2 or 6 p.m. according to this guide. Child, if you're attempting to fool me, it is impossible. Right there, are the Zora band, the Indigo goes. Shh. Six. This this quiz is so fucking garbage. How are you supposed to know these things? Yeah, maybe you have to wear Kathy's mask. That, that's probably... I don't know why I didn't think of that. Oh, 
dear, you're the one searching for Kathy? How is it? Have you found him? Oh dear, priority mail? This, it's from Kathy, correct? Wonderful, you really are an expert. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. My thanks. It is your job, after all. Unfortunately... I don't really... I mean, I have all the bottles now. Chateau Romani, unfortunately, um... I'm not gonna be able to use this tonight for anything fancy, but, uh... Here's the great thing about Chateau Romani. It gives you full health and it gives you a blue magic bar. Not that it really does anything, it just now your magic bar is blue. That's all. It's it's a good uh it's a good upgrade. You have to pay two hundred dollars for that milk normally. The two hundred rupees. Oh, also you have infinite magic. So yeah, I'll be getting some of this when I go to fight Majora. It's good to have. It's permanent until I reset time. Like, it won't go away until I set back to the first day. That's why I was saying I sadly won't be able to make use of this particular bottle of it. Okay. Now. Let me check something. I'm curious. Oh, shit. It runs out in the morning. That sucks if that's true. If you go back, all of your bottles get emptied. You lose all arrows, all bombs, and all that. You keep the items, but you lose, like, the ammo and stuff. Kind of a pain in the ass, but... Some things reset, some things don't. Did... Oh, I was scared for a second there. I thought my game crashed. <laughs> I wonder... Yeah, there's the bomb bag that was stolen. A hundred rupees. Normally pay like 50 if you help the old lady out. But it got stolen and it got sold here by Seikon. Now, I'm going to reset time. My next objective... I do believe Grandma is all I have left on my notebook. And then I'll go do the dungeon. I don't know, maybe I'll do the dungeon now. And then end the stream with- Nah! <laughs> Curiosity shop owner and Grandma should be all that's on the list now. Curiosity shop owner and grandma. Everybody else is done. So I'm two characters away from getting the 100% ending. I'll correct them later. Someone thinks I use flash. Yeah, that's not true. Okay, so. Of course they pinged me.
Might as well try this bullshit again. bad at doing cooking only three choices how many mailboxes are in clock town fuck off how many of these six bullshit there's so many like garbage questions like there's got to be like a hundred of them Yeah, they're based on a myth, a Japanese myth, ketons. There's legends of like foxes with multiple tails. Midnight, the old lady will show up. I gotta stop the robbery in order to get the all night mask. What can I do in the meantime? Happens if I beat his ass now. Who, Saikon? I can't do anything to him until he grabs the bag. There is a secret you can do with him in the final that I'll show off in the final stream when I do glitches and stuff. giant rupee you can get from that bird. I'll get it after I get this taken care of. Oh. Tail targets any NPC, though. Or tattle, I mean. Target him. Target him. Done. You can't reset them. The lady should be here soon. She'll come through here around 11:30, and at midnight is when she hits the trail, if I remember correctly, and gets robbed. Thought? I guess she comes at a little twelve. Come on, Granny. There she is. 
she just walked right through the guard. I'm sorry. I just forget what time it is exactly. does nothing to stop him. Hey, no, you can't go left there. It's dangerous. No, my current doesn't. Just the second one that you get. The the one with the gaps in it. Okay. That part's done. I'm gonna try the milk road keyton and then I'm gonna switch to the third day and get the all night mask. Getting robbed by the bird might ruin this. If that raw, if that bird steals my bottle. this again. Eight, I remember. How old is Tingle? Thirty-five. Macau is of which race? Zora. Hey, some easy ones. What does the owner of the bomb shop call his mother? Mommy? Oh, thank choices. Darmani is which race? Oh, easy. I got this. I finally got it. Thank fucking Christ. Took enough tries. Now, on the final night, the Curiosity Shop will sell the all-night mask. There's quite a few tingle, oh, tingle questions in there, too. What color are his trunks? How old is he? What hand does he use?
long. It's Tingle's dick. <laughs> this is... This is the biggest question they give you. Pun intended. I hate myself for saying that. Okay, night of the final day. I might as well walk to town instead of rolling as a Goron just to kill some time while we wait for the curiosity shop to open at 10. I need 500 rupees for the mask anyways, so... I can't have him hovering over the out-of-bounds, though. I won't get the rupee. There we go. I could get the rupees from the bank, but um, I'm trying to save up 5,000 so I can get the piece of heart from that. Gives me something to do while I wait for the curiosity shop to open anyways. Final night. That's when you can get these rupees too. Actually, I think they're gonna be past the gate now. No, it's. I already grabbed them. Didn't I? Whatever. They're not there either way. I don't care about your flower. I'm a human. I can't even use it. Why are you so paranoid? Fuck you. Get some extra cash in here. I just need six rupees. I'll grab those from the bank. Time for the shop to open. I'd like to withdraw six rupees from my thousand rupee balance. in one place. There's a four rupee service charge on withdrawals. Yeah. Bitch. All right, scummy, give me my mask. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 
mask for bedtime, he calls it. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this, like, BDSM shit. <laughs> else to sell. <laughs> so I technically have every mask now because um, the giant's mask I get from the fourth dungeon. So Yeah, he's done. Okay. All that's left is Grandma, so I have to listen to her stories while wearing this mask, because their stories will put you to sleep if you don't. You know what? I could have used the Grandma to skip time, because, um... Her stories have, like, random hours you can skip. Like, one of them you can skip two hours. I forgot about that. How long this texture pack took to make? How many countless hours? Okay, talk to her with the mask on. Uh, oh, Tortoise, did you finish helping father? Then let mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? Carnival of Time. A carnival of time, is it? A carnival's almost here, so it's good for you to learn its meaning. It's a little long, but I'll read it with some enthusiasm. I'm not going to do this voice. I'm going to do this whole story. The Carnival of Time. Each year, the season of harmony begins when the sun and moon are on alignment. Paying homage to the way that both nature and time are tirelessly in the process of progressing. The carnival of Time is when the people of four worlds celebrate the harmony and request fruitfulness for the year. Oh, the art isn't working. For ages, people have worn masks resembling giants who are gods of the four worlds. Now it has become a custom for each person to bring a handmade mask to the Carnival of Time. These stories are supposed to have really nice art. It is said that a couple of united on the day of the festival and dedicated a mask at the sign of their union. It would bring luck. The centerpiece of the carnival is the clock tower. On the eve of the festivities, the doors of this roof are opened. From top the clock tower roof, the ceremony that called the gods is held and an ancient song is sung. All of these festivities for the carnival of time are held so that we may ask the gods for a rich and harvest for the year to come. Um, I'm using Moopin for the texture pack. I don't know. You're supposed to answer, I don't know. And it acts actually the um, the longer story that you get the piece of art from. Four Giants. Quite long, but it's a good story for you here, so I'll read it with some extra teeth. Four Giants. This tale is from long ago, and all the people weren't separated into four worlds like they are now. And these times, all the people lived together, and the four giants lived among them. On the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the giants spoke to the people. We have chosen to guard the people while we sleep. One hundred paces north, one hundred paces south, one hundred paces east, one hundred paces west. If you have need, 
call us in a loud voice by declaring something such as, The mountain blizzard has trapped us. Or the ocean is about to swallow us, your cries shall carry to us. More art being glitched out. Now then, there was one who was shocked and saddened by all of this. A little imp. The imp was a friend of the giants since before they had created the four worlds. Why must you leave? Why do you not stay? The childhood friend felt neglected, so he spread his anger across the four worlds repeatedly. He wronged all people. Overwhelmed with misfortune, the people sang and sung a song of prayer to the giants who lived in each of the four compass directions. The giants heard their cry and responded with a roar. O oh, imp, O oh, imp, we are the protectors of the people. You have caused the people pain, O oh, imp. Leave these four worlds, otherwise we shall tear you apart. The imp was frightened and saddened. He had lost his old friends. The imp returned to the heavens, and harmony was restored to the four worlds. The people rejoiced. They worshipped the giants of the four worlds like gods, and they lived happily ever after. So, a little bit of Skull Kid backstory there. He was a friend of the giants, and he felt neglected. He's caused a little mischief, and they threatened him by saying, You need to fucking leave. And this made him the angry little shit that he is now. Good job. Wasn't that fun, Tortoise? I don't know. Oh, really? But you listened hard, so Mother is happy. I'll give you some candy as your prize. So, with that, 100% notebook. Wait a minute, what? Excuse me? Oh, you know what? I have to answer the first one correctly. There's two pieces of heart you can get from this. Turn off time. Let's just skip through this one as fast as possible. CPU may help render and because the PCs don't do that. It breaks all things like Mario Kart 64. The screen that copies your camera onto it won't work on emulators. That's a pity that they still haven't fixed it after all these years. On the eve of the festival. Dear, good job remembering that's the boy I'm proud of. I'll give you some candy as a prize. 13 hearts, and good thing I looked at the notebook before. Now, I'm 100%. That's it. I can get the best ending now. Yeah, um, every person you help has a scene in the end credits, but if you don't finish helping them, then it'll just be a black screen where um, their scene should have been. Now then. I like Moopin a lot because it's widescreen support works a lot better. I've been finding a lot less issues with playing in widescreen. I, I, I used Project 64 for many years, but I, I switched to Moopin because I was having issues getting the texture packs to load. Moopin has been loading these a lot better. That is the last time I'll need to reset tonight. Actually, not true, because I might finish the game tonight. It's only 10.17. I guess it depends on how uh, long it takes me to beat this dungeon. I might just package the glitch stream and beating the game in one and I might just do one big grand finale stream that way so next stream I'll beat the fan and then I'll do all the glitches and stuff afterwards and fun stuff that I have planned
This is a really good dungeon. I'm excited to do this. You've only played enough to get all the masks. Oh, so you've never even seen the game finished. Stupid section. Why can't they all just take their own path and go around each other? It's so stupid. First, they're gonna move this one out of the way. Get all the masks and all the heart pieces and side quests. Ah. Uh. I remember how many old videos there were on YouTube of people playing different songs on their Zelda instruments. Simpsons theme on Ocarina. <laughs> that was pretty much all of early, like, 2008 YouTube. Okay, guys, this is it. One of the best dungeons in the entire Zelda series. And I'm gonna edge you. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab a snack and my salad out of the fridge. <laughs> We're in for the long haul here, so I'm gonna be prepared. <laughs> Hamster getting salty in the chat. Just make a little room here. I'm starving, sorry. This is the IRL eating stream that you've all been asking for. 
Fuck you. Fuck you, Luigi. Oh, I'll take that. This fucking mask. Slow Z targeting. Get out of here. It's Mama Luigi to you, Mario. Oh, not this way. Upside down door. Interesting. No fairies in here. Only death. Way to drop them. Only two. Okay. So there's some interesting things in this room. Huh. How the fuck am I supposed to use that? 
Australia would tell you to take off your ground harness. <laughs> Probably with his family or something, like getting drunk at the pub with Zad or something. I don't know. if I remember correctly. There's fairies in here, but I don't know if I can get them yet. I think it's later. When I do certain things. Igor. Simply attacking it is no good. I say you should pay attention to the subtle changes of the eye. Well, he is a highland. Maybe it's a highland thing. They can hold their breath a little longer than people. This jump is always such a pain in the ass. You can do it. I have done it. It's, it's gotta be like frame perfect though. I might have to go back around. Which I'd like to avoid, because that would mean playing the song of LGM Emptiness again. Oh. 
I think that somebody who spends all day running across fields and fighting monsters would have a good lung capacity. Shit, I can't even get in there anyways. God damn it, I don't have play arrows. I wonder. No, it's too high. I can't do the ground pound cheese with the Goron. I'll have to get it later. Uh, I'm using a Switch Pro controller. I had to do a lot of, um... ...fucking around to get this to work on my PC. These are not natively supported by PCs. I got a really nice USB one at uh, Walmart. It's only like 10 bucks, too. It's a... yeah, it's USB, so... I only paid like $10 for it, too, and it has like a really nice Ocarina of Time design on it. It's got like a... like... The whole front of the controller has like Hyrule Field on it and Link on the side. It looks really nice. This would actually work on my Switch, too, if I tried it, so I have two Switch controllers now. I like the, uh, Joy-Cons, though, and I don't really plan on switching from them. I don't really have a need. I'll just keep this plugged into my computer. That's the block that was blocking my path earlier. Might as well finish my shot. There's only a couple bites left. This one's third party, but it's licensed. This room sucks, because these things infinitely spawn. These mirrors, you have to, like, build up a charge of light. Well, it doesn't support it, because Switch controllers have a different format. With the whole, um... Instead of... It doesn't have, like... I mean, it has A, B, X, Y, but they're in different spots than they are in an Xbox controller. Which is, like, the best way to word it. Oh, right, it's this, too. Fuck off.
On a Switch controller, X is at the top, but on an Xbox controller, Y is at the top. X, X and Y are switched, and A and B are switched between the controllers. And they have like some different like coding for the firmware. Gonna build up a nice long charge. Gotta hurry up before these little shits get in my way. Got it. First try. This room can be a real pain in the ass. fairies in here. Well, all cleared. Yeah, PlayStation has completely different buttons. Okay. I'm gonna check real quick. I think there's a... Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's switch down here. And that makes a chest appear at the end, if I remember correctly. It makes that. And then you can get that chest. This room you don't want to fall in as a Deku scrub because, well, wood and fire don't go together well. Come on, open. Third of the way there. The Garo Master. You can't fight him like an ordinary Garo, just dodge the swords. Gotcha. Gilded Sword is so good. 
think I could be defeated. Although my rival, you are spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. If you shoot that which releases the sacred golden light into the blood-stained red emblem outside the temple, it shall rearrange things in which the earth is born in the heavens and the moon is born in the earth. Do not forget these words. Die I shall, even in no corpse. That is the law of Asgaro. That was not a smoke bomb, he blew himself up. <laughs> now, before... I use the light arrow to do that, I have a few other things to do. I need to go back to that room where I needed the light arrow to get that chest. Which means I'm going to have to do those LG boxes again for the switches I need. It's a good thing he's kind enough to sit there and wait while I play the song. What it mean? Well, the Deku Mask, um, is too small. It doesn't hold down anything. I think that's all I can get while the room is like this. Okay. Wait a minute, just in case, I should check the other side. No, okay, I'll just use this. There is no way to drain the water. It's here. 
And if I could drain it, it would be a problem because then I wouldn't be able to get up. How do I... Oh, you have to make this jump. Lots of upside down doors. Weird. Lots of upside down everything. Get up there! Watch it be a waste and there's like nothing up there. There's like 20 rupees, but. I just want to make sure I don't miss any fairies because I don't remember they all are. Nope. Just rupees. <sighs> Alright, time to leave the dungeon. We're done here. That's it, dungeon over. Best dungeon in the game, huh? get this to cross so that I can get out of here. the moon down there. Hi! <laughs> Come on, there was so much outside down stuff. You thought I was really done? <laughs> get all the fairies. No, um, this is just, just a temple. Skull Kid's mask is something that, um, an ancient tribe used to worship a dark god, like a chaos god. Those are arm offs, and those are the same as they were in Ocarina of Time. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna have to flip the dungeon again later. And come back to this room. Now he's got a mask. Get away from me, fucker. Yeah, this fairy is near. That's within that chest. This part already. They at least give an infinite supply of magic and arrows in this room. You dick. Just hoping to get it before you get in my way. I like how that bottle is just kind of floating along on the screen there. Close to Gomez. Wizard rope.
shit. That is the last fairy for this room. This is where those Armos were. That's the hole that I blew open in the ground. And that's the stairs that I entered this room from. I wonder how long it took them to design this dungeon and making sure that everything made sense in it. Okay, this room is actually cleared now. This room's clear. Except for some asshole pose. I need to go inside of there. Here's that Elegy of Emptiness room. And now there's enemies in here. Death Armos. Temple Guard. These guys, it's better to just ignore them. But if you hit them with an arrow, they flip upside down. And then you make them ground pound and that'll kill them. So that's how you beat them. It's better to just ignore them. Are the pose related to the boss? Use the same sound. It's just a limited sound card. Ocarina of Time had uh, not limited sound card. Had N64 games had a limited um, amount of that they can hold on them. So sometimes sound effects just had to be reused. that equipped. I use the chat to do this instead of wasting arrows. this out. If you kill a blue bubble with a light arrow, he drops 50 rupees. Another good way to farm money in this game. This right here, the mini boss I'm about to fight, this is where Eager Raptor gave up. Because he's so fucking garbage at this game that he couldn't beat this easy mini boss. Let me show you how fucking easy he is. I always love this guy. I hope he comes back in a future game. It's go mess. There'll be no end to it if you can't get those bats away from it. Does that shed any light on the situation? Like, could it be more obvious? Come on. Aaron couldn't get a single hit on him because he didn't know what to do.
dead. I have now gotten further than Aaron did in the main quest line. <laughs> this is where he gave up. That pathetic ass mini boss. <laughs> I like his design and how to fight him and all that, but he's he's easy. How did this end up being the moment where he fucking rage quit? How do you manage to be that fucking incompetent? He couldn't get one hit on him. He couldn't figure it out at all. Wells of light you can use to reflect the mirror affected by time of day? No. Those are fixed. What am I at on fairies? 9 out of 15. Just over the halfway point. Oops. Chests I'll have to get later when I flip the temple. Yes, this is one of the. I this I may have actually had to do this uh, multiple tries. Uh, I, I actually might have had to reset time because I was out of time when I did it as a kid. Took shot out. <laughs> now, I have everything I need to fight the final boss right now. I'm not going to do that yet. But yeah, this was a very confusing dungeon when I was a kid. This is a rough one. Hell of a lot rougher than what our temple is. Dead. You know what's in this chest? I've got the big key, I've got the dungeon items, I got all, all that stuff, so what could possibly be in this gold chest? Final mask! And now, I have everything I need to get this mask, which that'll be the final stream. That's the Fierce Deity Mask slot. Which you get for getting every mask in the game. Uh, I did die a lot back then, yes. I was like 6 or 7 when I played through this game. And I did 100% it. I was a completious. I was a completionist, even even when I was a young, a wee tot. Okay. 
That's everything, so... I'm not going to fight the boss yet, as I said. I'm gonna get the rest of the fairies first. So, I gotta flip the dungeon again. And I gotta get those right side ups that I triggered while I was upside down. There's a bit of back and forth thing to get this, uh, dungeon's fairies. So you can't really do it all in one go, you gotta flip it a couple times. this done. Not that one. Let's not make that mistake again. <laughs> As a human race, do not deserve many blueberry muffins. handy. Why is this happening? There we go. Hi, Loon. You missed half of Stone Tower. I'm just reflipping the dungeons so I get the rest of the fairies now. thirds of the way there. Okay, I gotta remember that I never grabbed that one. So, I'm gonna be at 14. Shit. 
Actually, Loon missed more than half a stone tower because we got the giant's mask and all that. Really, we just gotta get these fairies. We fought Gomez. I killed him in like five seconds, even though it took Aaron like three episodes and then he rage quit before he could ever even get one hit on him. You didn't miss the boss. I'm gonna be fighting Twin Molden once I get the fairies. I finished out my bomber's notebook earlier. You helped me with one of the post sides. Wait, what? Oh, the side quest. Yeah, I turned out I had to talk to the Madame Romo with the cafe mask. I had a little bit of... Oh, no. Oh, please tell me that... Oh, no. Hang on, where was that button? There, there was a... Oh, that's the one that you need to play the song. I'm good, I'm good. I had a bit of a panic attack thinking it was a button I missed, and that's gonna be another thing I wouldn't be able to... We're good, we're still good. Where are we now in fairies? 14. That whole left side is clear. Basement's clear. The fairies in this temple are a pain. They always were. I missed a button down here. Didn't I? Or did I hit that one? I hit it. Okay. There's still fairies in this room. I fucked something up. I missed stuff when I was upside down. This room's cleared. so good but it's so frustrating. I could just... Do we really need the... There's an ice switch right there, you fucking asshole. You fucking stupid shit. It's gonna be upside down, isn't it? Would you look at that? Can you believe it? So, that's a fairy. I'm missing... I'm missing four. One of them is in that hallway in the right side up. I have to go upside down again anyways to fight Twin Mold. So hopefully I don't have to do too much backtracking. Am I actually going in here now? No. How do I... Okay, I have to take the east path and then go north and around. This room didn't give me too much of a hard time at least.
Oh, I gotta do this again. I'll have to make sure it's the last time I have to do it. So that... Level 19, I'm making good time at least. Go, go, go! You fucking bitch. So the next time I stream this game will be the grand finale. I'm gonna do glitches and stuff. I'll show off things like the Seikon secret with the bow. Uh, I'll beat the game. I'll show off the Fierce Deity Mask. So, I'm missing three fairies. There's the one at the entrance in the Upside Down. There's the one in that room in the Upside Down. And the last is probably... Hmm. Maybe the room south of this one. But isn't that the main entrance? At least knew, know where two of the three are. No, 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 I need to go south. Fuck out of here. You know what? I think the last one is the Igor. Oh, right here. Second Igor in this room. This is it. Shit. Got him. This is the fairy. The right side up Igor. Okay, and I know where the last two are here in the Upside Down, so let's flip the dungeon and finish this off. I hate these fucking dragonflies. He's gonna camp up there and wait. Okay, now he's dead. Get the fuck out of here. I hate those things. Hate them. Might be the most annoying enemy in the entire Zelda series. At least for me.
ones we gotta write down. I know, you're real scary and intimidating. Shut up. And we got it. Yeah. Let's fight the boss. And then I'll turn in the fairies and get probably the weakest reward for the amount of work that those take. I can't even wear this mask. Stupid. It's trash. Utter garbage. If the dot is there, then it should be working. Here we go. There's actually a couple ways you can do this boss. I'm gonna do this the fun way, but I'll show off how this is just another boss that you can easily beat, because none of the bosses in this game are hard. So. As you can see, the giant's mask is now equipable. I'll get to that in a second. Whoops. You can just shoot them in the tail. And they'll almost never hit you. Like, every now and then they'll come out and hit you, but... Yeah, that one's too close. It's hard to... Like that, you can just shoot them in the tail. Let's do this the fun way, though. I should have got some Chateau Romani. I need 
magic. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Got it. Full magic, here we go. One down. only area in the entire game where you can use the giant's mask. I would have loved it if you could go across Termina Field as a fucking giant. Help the giants hold the moon up. This game's too hard because there's no checkpoints. Meanwhile, this... Neither did Link to the Past. The game that you hold up on a pedestal all the time. Same. 14 hearts, not bad. We have all the giants freed now. On the next exciting episode of Majora's Mask. <laughs> well, we helped all of you. That's all we can do. All us. That's what they're saying. A really itty easy mini boss at that, West. Without being told, we understand. So now you'll help us out in exchange. We'll call you from atop the clock tower. So do something about him, alright? What? Their voices sound sad. You don't want to? Remember Grandma's story? They were friends with Skull Kid once. Forgive your friend. Forgive our friend? What do you mean by forgive? Huh? What friend? Congratulations, Link. You've opened up a sky vagina. And it's just mysteriously gone. That was like the spirits of the dead that were lost here. Finally finding rest. Now they're gone. And there's not a single dead being here. The mummy's walking around the thing. Pretty sure even a kinda castle has no re-deads now. Let me check.
Oh, there's Redent here. Okay, I stand corrected. So yeah, notebook's done. What else is there? I, I think... I think we've pretty much done all the big stuff. Oh! That's right! I'm glad I looked it through that, because I was about to fucking reset time. I didn't turn in the fairies yet. I would have been so fucking mad at myself. This is the last time you guys are gonna get to hear the voice. <laughs> oh, compassionate young one! I'm the Great Fairy of Kindness! Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal, sugar. As thanks, I grant you to the Fairy Sword. That's right! Fuck you! Even though you already have the best sword in the game, blow me! Oh, oh. Uh, I guess apparently it is stronger. Whatever. Come see me whenever you're overcome by weariness, honey. Ooh! My legs are always spread for you, sugar. <laughs> Let me clap them cheeks and my big food a dick. Oh, yes. So, uh, I've pretty much done it all. Oh, turned in my money. Ah. I'm not gonna bother turning in the money. Yeah, actually, for my Zelda parody series, I have much different ideas for the fairies. I do have ideas. <laughs> so this is the fairy sword. It's a two-handed weapon. I was gonna save this for the glitch stream, but uh, let's do one quick little party favor. So, while holding the sword, put it in the mailbox. I found this one as a kid by accident. Now, Link has an invisible sword. Well, yeah, because it's an item and not a sword button thing. It's a C button item and not a sword replacement. That way I'm not forced to use a two-handed sword at all times. Because this game doesn't have an equipment screen like uh, Ocarina of Time had. Yeah, the, um, the equipment screen got replaced with the mask screen. And then you have the maps and the quests screen. All right. This is a hard game to stop, but there's nothing left to do. Unless I wanted to extend the night and beat the game, but that would take too long with all the things I want to do. I'm gonna end it there. Thanks for 
tuning in, guys. Next, uh, next Majora's Mask stream will be the grand finale.